sorry. I'm okay? sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. That was my funny bone. Howdy, partners. Welcome to the Pattersons. <sighs> I love that we both exhale after that. <laughs> oh, hey, Miss. You, sorry, you come, come hang girl out. Girl talk? You come up a girl talk? A few months ago, we did a video where we had some girl talk. That's basically where you guys sent in some questions or just like looking for advice on stuff like girl talk that you talk about with your big sister. So we're going to talk about that stuff today. And my husband's going to sit here and listen in. There's some things in here that are a little bit... Question it's a lot. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm so looking forward to this. Here we go. Here some we are go. bad, some are not. How can I stop thinking about bad things that could happen in the future and stop all the paranoia? I feel like I'm paranoid all the time. I totally get that. To stop that, I just know that I'm getting my head. I feel like I've gotten very good at being like, hey, you need to relax a little bit. And I calm myself down. But I feel like that's not the best advice because it's just I got used to calming myself down. Not to get too deep, but ever since my mom passed away, I've been terrified of everything to do with cancer and death and everything. And Honestly, I've been looking for ways to stop thinking about it so much as well. So if anybody in the comments has any advice regarding that, I'd really appreciate that. We started that off on a really, yeah, I didn't know it was really get that dark deep. note, didn't we? What's your shaving routine? Right now, I have this like really nice smelling like coconut shaving cream. And then I use a razor that also has like this thing on it. That's like, you know, the thingy I'm talking about. The yeah, the soap thingy. thing. Then after I get out of the shower now, I have a lotion. And I use her razor as well to shave my nipples. <laughs> my nips get hairy. <laughs> and his feet. <laughs> I love how it switched from utter darkness to, what's your shaving routine? I'm in love with my guy best friend, but he doesn't like me that way and it hurts to talk. Ooh. Serious girl talk right now. I had a guy best friend who ended up, I'm not gonna say falling in love with me, but he ended up liking me and I did not feel that way. It was kind of awkward to like let him down. But honestly, like we stay friends after that. We're actually not friends anymore. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're married. <laughs> but uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> That's yeah. not me. I think if they don't feel that way, there's something you can do to like force that. Maybe something will change in the future. But um, also you don't want to kid yourself and you don't want to continue this platonic relationship with the hopes that something might happen one day when it might not. Yeah. If he let you know that he wasn't feeling that, I would try to move on from that. Why are boys so annoying sometimes? Sometimes, see, it depends like where you are. Like some ages, guys will be annoying because that's their way of flirting with you. Like they'll be oh, like teasing yeah. you. You know what I mean? Like kind of like teenager, like teasing you. Sometimes they're just annoying because they're annoying. So it depends like how old they are. I need to see examples. Mm -hmm. What are main green flags required in boys? Now, I don't think there's any like actual requirements because everybody likes something different. Manners, that's an immediate green flag. I need, you need to have like a lot of manners. Another green flag is loving animals. Like if you don't freak out when you see a dog like getting so excited, that's a red flag. It depends on the person. Treat you with respect. TBWK. Oh. <laughs> do boys think girl math makes sense? No. <laughs> if I do something in my day, I'll think, Monica thinks this is girl math, but then I bring myself back to reality and I realize girl math is crazy. We had a tiff the other day because I was showing him my love on tour bag that I got for free at the concert. She didn't get it for free. She bought a ticket and part of the ticket was a love on tour bag. Exactly what I'm saying. The but bag it's not was free because I bought a ticket. You know what I mean? And he's like, no, 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 like the ticket. That's like, <laughs> that's like buying a car and saying, oh my gosh, I got a free steering wheel with this car. Yes, exactly. It's like, oh, I got free leather seats. You know what I mean? Don't you just hate it when you sneeze slash cough on your period and the jellyfish pops out? Yeah. No, don't touch me right now. That is <laughs> vile. Oh my word. I feel sick. I, I do hate that. I need, I need some water. <laughs> no, I'm being deadly serious. I, I, feel, I feel nauseous right now. How do you think we feel? I genuinely feel nauseous. <laughs> Like genuine. I can't. You mind if I just get a little bit fresh? Sam, you're kidding. <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> I don't think you could be a doctor, sweetheart. I don't think I could be a doctor either. <laughs> what to do if a guy directly asks for photos? She like put the cheeky eyes photos. So that's cheeky photos. Don't. I personally would not. And when I have a daughter, I'm gonna give her the same advice. I never sent anyone photos before Sam, but I know people who did 
and it's come back to bite them in the butt. Any way you send them, if it's through Snapchat or like a vanishing message or however you kids send them now, they can be stored and saved and sent to people and it's just not worth putting yourself through that. Don't do it. Is it okay to not date when you're a teenager? Of yes. Course. I had my first real boyfriend at 18 years old. So, shout out. <laughs> shout out to my husband. Why is down there so itchy? Oh. Please go to the doctor. I have not been itchy. Please consult a doctor. Consult a doctor. We're not here to provide medical advice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very sorry that's happening to you. What were you thinking after you kissed Sam for the first time? My body floated out. I went into this magical universe. Then I came back down and I was like, whoa. It was everything. It was everything I wished it could have ever been. Yeah. It was incredible. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my gosh, he did it. <laughs> when you rush to the bath, no. maybe I should skip this one. <laughs> Moving on. Does body count matter? This depends on your personal preference. I would say there's a certain number I have in my head. Yeah, that... you, you definitely don't want to go above like 5,000. <laughs> yeah, if you go up to me, it's like, hey, my body count's like 500. I'd be like, peace, I'm out. I have a certain number in my head that I think is too much. It depends on you. You know, can I say congratulations because I've never genuinely felt nauseous during a YouTube video before. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm it was. I'm getting a congratulations for that? Yeah, I don't know. You, wow. Well, clear success with making your husband uncomfortable during <laughs> girl talk. I don't know what it was about that statement slash question, but that just really caught me. And last but not least, what was the first time like? Incredible, but painful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. This was definitely uncomfortable for one of us. You can guess which one down in the comments below. <laughs> Considering she made me uncomfortable, boys watching this, if I do a guy talk in front of my wife, part two, and we try and make Monica feel as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> make sure to follow our Instagram, which is at Sam and Monica, because that's where we get you guys to send us the questions. We will see you in the next video. I'm nervous. Can I also just... Look at the boy oh, right now. Jesus. Hello. I just love that wherever we are, he was he was sleeping on our bed, and wherever we are, he just has to be next to us. Even if he's fast asleep, he has to be next to us. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace out.